I've heard bad things about Elemental before I went to watch it. Karsten Runquist, a YouTuber I watched, said he didn't like it. I've heard others say it's very preachy about racism. But apparently, despite bombing in the North American box office, my friend said it's number one in Korea right now, so four of us went to watch it together. Carson gave it a 2 out of 5. I'll let you hear what he thought of it. And I watched Elemental. I already did a video about this one. I did not love it. Honestly, the more I've sat with it, the more I think it's one of Pixar's weakest films, just because of how straightforward and uninteresting the story was. I get that it's personal to the director, and I think there were parts to it that were cute, uh, but the central relationship between these two characters did close to nothing for me, and I just didn't really enjoy it. So he thought it was too simple. Was it a simple story? Yes but I would give it a 3 out of 5, maybe a 3.5. I liked it. It wasn't amazing. It wasn't The Incredibles, which is a clear 5 out of 5 and one of my most favorite movies of all time, but it was a fine love story. I would say that the father-daughter relationship was more interesting to me than the love relationship itself. Some people didn't like the animation. Some said the waters were just blobs, so it was hard to care for them. I thought the movie was beautiful. Loved the fire especially. The water was good and so was everything in between. The movie made me chuckle a few times. It didn't make me cry, although both my female friends cried at the end of the movie when the father and daughter showed a sign of respect to one another. I don't quite understand why that was so moving for them, but it touched them. I really liked that there was an epilogue during the credits where it shows what happens to the parents after the movie ends. It made it a much more satisfying ending. Makes me wish more movies did that. Perfect use of the credits. At the beginning, I said some found this movie to be preachy. Was it a preachy movie? I think only if you're trying to read into it. Yes, there is racism in the movie, from how the fire people are treated to how the father treats water people, but to me, all this is just a setup for the story. The true story and the heart of the movie is about a father-daughter relationship and the father's expectations weighing heavily on the daughter. Racism is just a backdrop in which the story takes place and makes the story more interesting. It's not the sole focus nor the heart of the movie. So no, I didn't find it preachy because I took this movie at face value, which is just a family and romance movie. It was a good time, simple story, not Pixar's best, but how can every movie be Pixar's best? I think it achieved what it set out to do. Well, maybe not in the box office. The budget is reportedly $200 million, and so far the film hasn't even broken even in that case, with the box office numbers just under $200 million. So not a huge financial success. Yeah, our theater was pretty empty too. At least it's doing well in Korea. Actually, I wonder why it's doing well in Korea. Anyways. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. The most memorable scene was when she said dang when she saw his buff body. A pipe squished me all out of shape. Dang. A pipe squished me all out of shape. Dang. And that was so memorable because I was like, damn. I just stopped working out recently, like a week ago, and I was just thinking I should not stop working out. <laughs> I should I should keep up with working out. I should, yeah, build my body up. Yeah, that's why that scene was memorable. If you like pretty movies and don't mind a simple story, check out Elemental and form your own opinion.